So this is the first for us here at Center Consoles Only. This is the Young Boats 27. So obviously we've seen a lot of pictures about it. We've heard a lot of the conversations from you guys and we hear nothing but good things. So we saw it here, had to jump on it and take a look. So if you look at this one, it has really sleek lines to it. White on white, white everything. We've got power poles here. It's basically kind of like a hybrid style boat. Twin 300s and definitely has offshore capabilities from what we hear. This is a type of boat you can do just about anything and everything with. So we're gonna jump on real quick and just take a look at the interior. You can see at first you have a removable backrest into the rod holders here in the transom. A really large live well back here that's gotta be every bit of 45 gallons. And then you have an additional live well which could potentially be an option. Pretty nice that they have little holders for your nets there. Those things always seem to get lost. You got access over here to the transom space and this looks like another actual live well space. Maybe a little pitch well. Let's take a peek at what they have going on in the bilge and this is pretty interesting. Again, we've never seen this boat, never opened the hatch. This is the first time. So this is actually a removable piece, which is very useful. Leading to your bilge, which is great size actually here to be able to do any work that you need. You got your pumps, your transducer right there. Then you got this piece, which you can throw any gear you need in. Cast nets, uh, a couple of buckets with those inserts, and you can move it out. Whether you're dock, you know, parked on the trailer at your house and you wanna just move things in and out easily, that's a great place to add some storage. Got drawers here. <laughs> so you got tackle storage, little bait station right here. Um, interesting second station in T-top. If you look at this and if I stand under it, you can see it's actually quite tall in comparison to the standard top. And that's actually did a stand through second station, which you jump onto right here through the ladder on the side. They kept the windshield and actually elevated that stand through second station quite higher than what most do. So pretty interesting option here. You can see they went with full Simred electronics, which is always great to see. That's what we're setting up all of our boats with here in the near future. We got an Edson steering wheel, rocker switches down below, fusion head unit, throttle for your Suzuki's, and a really nice helm station here. You got a full bench with retractable backrests here if you want to sit down or stand up. Then we actually, what do we got here? Okay, we got tackle and holders for your monos, fluorocarbons, things like that. Have another compartment here down the center. Storage space, good for dock lines, put your flip flops in there, things of that nature. And your console cabin space. There's no head on this one, but I'm sure it is an option, more than enough space, and then access for your rigging on the aft side of that. There's a massive, massive lounger coffin box here. All insulated, obviously, this thing really feels heavy duty. You have compartments here if you wanna just use a portion of it for drinks and food, or open that sucker up, and you can throw some very respectable fish up in this coffin box. You gotta step up here towards the bow. This is just uh, storage. You have your anchor locker here and a Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor, which is perfect for this setup in particular. They have spaces integrated here into the liner, which also you know can throw flip flops, drop your phone in there, things things like that. Um, and it's just additional storage space. Some pretty cool little cleats here we're we're noticing. Never seen these, but very sleek and nice looking. Again, nice piping full second station up there and a very nice overall boat. You can see it's a straightforward fishing machine. That's what this thing is built for. Uh, definitely can take the family out to the sandbar and that sort of thing with no problem and be comfortable. I'm sure you can throw some cushions up here and add some seating. So between this, the uh, helm seats and that lounger, you got plenty of seating for whatever it is that you need. Family, friends, fishing team, Crack one of these open while we're here. Although it doesn't go very deep in there, it is a good size fish box. So all in all, 
Good looking boat. Again, we hear a lot of testimonials from owners of young boats and people that have been on them and hear nothing but good things. So glad we actually got to get on one here at the boat show. Hopefully we can set up something more detailed, the sea trial, maybe a day of fishing. We're open for all that stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, this is the Young Boats 27. If you like this content, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we hope to bring you a lot more content like this here at Center Consoles Only.